Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Uh, this card I made using the new stamp set Painted Poppies and it's in the celebration. In celebration if you uh, spend £45 or more you can get free stamps from the celebration brochure. Um, yeah, so this one is not a free stamp. This is a stamp I bought, and I'm using the poppy and the little splatter dots here to give me the stem. The only stamp set I could find with the stem in it, this one here, is this old set. It's a hostess set, Tranquil Tulips. So, and I'm just going to use that stem there. As I haven't got another stamp with just a stem without any leaves on it. Celebrate You is not a Stampin' Up set. It's just one I got free at Peterborough. That's quite a big stamp. And I'm going to use that one. But I'm going to use it in my stamp positioner. So I can stamp it a few times to get full coverage. Right, to get started... We will. Oh, need a card base of eight and a quarter and five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and folded in half and burnished. A piece of black, basic black at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and a piece of white cardstock at um, five and a half by three and three quarters and we will stamp on that what do we do inside nothing I just added a piece of white card could celebrate you you could celebrate anything with that card with that sentiment so I've left the inside blank right with my Versafine now I'm going to do the flower in memento and I'm going to have it facing this way and just stamp it down yeah now I'm going to use a versafine on the stem and I want that going that way yeah. I'm going to pop that under the flower. Clean that off. Have a clean poppy. All right. My splatter dots are just going to go up there, like that, as if the seeds are being released. All right. Need to bring down my stamp positioner place this in here and with my celebrate you stamp I am going to stick that there pick it up Jeez. and ink it and just press on it now we'll do it again just 
especially the U. color this in but first to make the stem stick out I am going to just run my black uh, what's this blend pen over it to fill in the gaps that's what I did And then to colour the poppy in, I'm going to use Poppy Parade Light, Poppy Parade Dark and Dark Cherry Cobbler. So we want Poppy Parade first light and just go around all the edges carefully. Because I don't want to come out. And I also don't want to lean on the sentiment because that will take a little while to dry. So I don't want to smudge it. Right. Now with the Poppy Parade Dark I am just going to go around the bottom of it and the inside just to give it a bit of a shadow really and then with Cherry Cobbler I'm just going around the top of the well, it will be black when I colour it in. The... Oh, what do you call them? And then round just the bottom of these two petals. Petal, petals. Um, I forgot what them things are called in the middle. And then with the light, I should blend in the dark poppy parade and I'm not going back all the way to the edge and with the dark poppy parade I am going to go over this fold and over this fold With the light, just blend that sort of in. And then with the black, which I never got out or kept out. Stamens, that's what they're called. I just coloured them in. to do is put the card together to get these pens away 
So, where's my glue? Oh well, glue this onto the black. Then I shall sit a bit of white inside. In fact, I'm going to put a poppy on the inside. Just a poppy head. Just pop it down there. Let's shut that. Put the lid on the glue so it'll dry out. And quickly colour in this poppy. That was lucky then. I could have been off the poppy and ruined it. I think it makes it when it's this is darker just makes it stick out a bit more there we are we shall leave that at that won't bother fussing about any more with it and there is our card for today oh no we need to put some gems on it now I've got these big black gems here and I think I've just got a snip them apart right on this one I'll put them this side because the poppy was facing that way so this time I'm just going to put them up there straight I do 
Don't like him there. I think it's because they're bigger. Ah, leave them there. What do you think? Top and bottom, they can be moved. I thought that one's not straight. Anyway, hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.